Yes, it's written in the excerpt that to serve a great king becomes a reception for us, as if we receive a lot of forces from it. Ah, oh, all right, that's clear now. So if the king is great in my eyes, then bestowing to him becomes a reception from him. And the more I bestow to him, to a great king, the more I, it seems to me as receiving, because he's great in my eyes, and then the, rece the, the reception, be the bestowal becomes the reception becomes bestowal, meaning in my action of giving to him, I feel that I'm receiving from him, not bestowing. It's like the story with the suitcase, or as it says, I have not called upon you, Jacob, meaning if there is a great man that you're carrying his suitcase, you don't feel the weight of the suitcase. You have a lot of power or strength to do that because that person is great in your eyes. So it all depends on the greatness of the Creator. P.T. Young. P.T. Young. I wanted to ask a question. How can I see friends exactly greater if I see them in from my will to receive in, in an uncorrected way? Where can I acquire those forces from? Think, think that everything depends on them. That you connect through them and you have no other kind of connection, that they stand between you and the Creator. And then you have to arrange them in a way that they will want to be can in the connection between you and the creator both from you to the creator through them and from the creator to you through them that i know but how will i get the forces if i'm thinking from my will to receive to start with so you need to know that you you're going to get no contact with the creator without them 